What did I get? Can you see those? Whoa! I just came back from the North Pole with all of my Christmas presents, and most of them were wigs. So today we are going to do an inexpensive wig haul. They are all either $19.99, $12.99, or $9.99. So let me show you the difference between these wigs. This is wig number one, and I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorites. It has these cute little things that go right here. <laughs> <laughs> and let me show you this. So it's got the bangs um, and then the back. It's like this cute little bob in the back. And this wig along the front does not have any clips. Um, it actually, gosh, it doesn't look like it has any clips throughout, which is fine with me. I don't use the clips. Um, it does have the adjuster straps and that's it. I, I will tell you though, I've worn this wig a few times. I, I did it without you and I'm really sorry. Um, but this wig is so comfy and it's so darn cute. Look at those cute little long deals. And no, I'm not into dressing up like anime. And it is, it's so comfortable to wear. It's like one of my very, very favorite wigs that is under $20 and one of my favorite wigs anyway it's not uncomfortable I wore it like all day the other day I went thrift shopping which that's another video you've got to see what I got but on to the next wig this wig is from Amazon and it was only $9.99 if you can believe that I absolutely love this wig especially for $9.99 um, I really like the color it's it's I know you can see it on camera but it's a, a purpley pink kind of color and it's kind of wavy um, I'll show you the inside. It has a clip there in the front, a clip there in the front. It has a little earpiece with a, um, it kind of bends to mold to your face. And as we go along the back of the inside, you can see there are clips that you can clip into the little loops or you can clip them together. So that's what the inside of this wig looks like. There is no lace and the part actually looks fairly natural. It's it's not bad. It's not too thick so you can't really see too much. Um, some people might pluck a part like this. I prefer to leave the hair like this because I don't want to see the grayness of the fake scalp. Um, it does feel, I mean the hair doesn't feel real, let's be honest. And the bangs need some help. <laughs> let's be honest with that too. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some uh, frizzies to help with the hair just kind of not being frizzy. This is Frizz Ease by John Frieda. I prefer the Paul Mitchell uh, slippery hair serum or something like that, but it's much better than this. This can leave the hair a little bit tacky, but it still is better than having it just kind of fly away and look dry. Squirt some in my hand. I'm just gonna rub it together. I'm going to just put it on the wig, just kind of on the outside. You don't want to put too much in. It will make the wig look like greasy. Um, I guess that's the natural look, <laughs> but um, just putting it in there, rubbing it down those locks. And let's see, I'm using you for my mirror. And yeah, see it just, it gives it, it kind of separated the waves out a little bit, you know. I don't know if you can see the difference. Um, here I'll do it, like this is after, right here, and then here's before. So you can tell me what you think. Hello there. My name is Ms. Angela Blondie Badass. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, but I thought that this wig deserved, like, a badass outfit. Which, by the way, I got this at the thrift store, and it is, like, super cute. It's got little things on it and stuff that I'll show you later. But anyway, this is the last one, the blonde wig, and this one was only $19.99. <laughs> I'll put the picture up there of what, whoa, huh, of where I got it from, or, I got it from... Amazon. I'll put the picture of what it looked like up there. It's been a while since I filmed. Can you tell? <laughs> but anyway, this is the last one, the blonde wig. This blonde one came with a wig cap and there's two pieces, so that's very nice. It does have the fake part. There's no lace. You might see a theme with these. Most of the time when the wigs are $20 or under, there is not a lace part. The inside of this has the little curved deals for your ears, so it'll curve up on your ear. As we go around, it does have the adjustable straps to either adjust to each other 
or click into these little loops. There's also a comb right in the back. There's those loops. And then the other adjuster band. So I would love to know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more on my channel this year. I want to do a lot more with uh, furniture refurbishing and fashion pretty much including wigs and actually like designing some fashion because I got a new sewing machine and I want to like cut pieces up and put them together in different ways and I have like all kinds of ideas so I'm really excited to show you. Q sewing machine. <laughs> There's the box. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. This is the Hercules Z6 sewing machine. Boots that I got from Dolls Kill. Oh my gosh. Oh, please. Oh, can't probably edit this part out because you're not supposed to undress. I went to the mall the other day and of course I had to stop by Hot Topic and I'm so excited to show you the few things that I got. So this is my little Hot Topic mini haul. Here we go. The bag. I love tall socks. Honestly, socks. a little bit scared. Do you want me to put pants on? I'm sorry. Oh. Welcome back to another episode of How To Do Stuff. Today, we are going to be reviewing these magnetic eyelashes. Let me climb on the table and them to you. I'm wearing pajamas because I didn't think you'd see them. They're magnetic eyelashes. When searching for fun ideas to share with you, I often try to find unique items that you might not think about going together or using. If you haven't seen any of my ideas for old buttons, there's a video out there that you should definitely check out at the end of this one. Today I have over 15 Thanksgiving mobiles and wind chimes to share with you. This is actually scratch art. Uh, look what I made. And check this one out. For the fun of it, I did this one. And because we all try to save time in a bottle, I had to do this one last. If you are interested in learning about the scratch art, let me know in the comments below because I will probably be doing some videos on those, especially if you guys want to see what it is and how to do it. It's a lot of fun. In addition, I have some other new things that I am dying to show you. So if you have not hit the thumbs up and you've got this far, you got some kind of value. Either you, you were laughing because I, I suck with my presentation skills right now or, or you were enjoying learning about the wigs. But either way, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Just, you do you, boo. And <laughs> um, make sure that if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be some good stuff going on here. And it'll be for girls, for boys, for whatever. So I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Peace out.